Hello watcher and subscribers in this tutorial we will learn two important thing the first thing is that timer itself because in any project particularly in game project you have to use timer because the use of timer is you can decide the time for completing particular task means whenever you want complete a particular task should be over in a particular time frame then you may go for the timer and the second thing is that we will use variable till now in some program we use the variable but here in this program i will tell the actual use of the variable so first of all i would like to change the background here this background i want sprite i want same one i just change its side so here you have to select flip option and then i am going into the coding so this is my sprite and uh, then i want to add timer in this program so first as usual i want flag so here i increase the size so this is the flag and uh, then i want to create variable here so for setting variable or you can say for setting timer you have to use variable so by using variable we will use the we will set the timer so for that you have to go in the variable category select make a variable by using this make a variable you can create the variable so variable name i am giving timer so that is my variable name and uh, once you have given variable name you see here the variable name is coming with the initial value by default it takes the value zero okay and the use of variable is it is used to store the value and that value you can change continuously during the program so again i repeat variable means it store the value and that value is temporary means you can change it frequently in the program so now here you have to use next statement set variable variable is timer with uh, i want initial value 5 so here we set the initial value of the variable 5 so uh, my timer should go then 4 3 2 1 like that means whenever we set the time then what happened the time should reduce or at or sometime it can be increased also so here we will see how the timer will reduce the time so here certain kind of repetition will happen in the program so i am using here repeat until block this one and in that repeat until block what happen it's a kind of looping some statement will be repeated again and again till the case is satisfied so here in the repeat until block i have to show the variable value so i am going into the variable again and here show variable okay and after showing this variable value i want that value should be reduced so i am here using change timer variable by minus one so minus one meaning is initial value is five then after that whenever this case is satisfied the timer will show the value like five and then it will be reduced so next value will be four then three then two and one so this process will go on till the case is satisfied so here we have to use condition so you have to go in operator category and this is my condition see very carefully here i have to use actually variable timer so in the variable category there we have already created timer variable just place it here and here i am writing suppose value 5 so once i write this value what is happening just checking out 5 4 so i just use a weight block here so that you can observe the output properly so there is a weight block here now you can check the output 5 4 so here what happened exactly in this code we set the value 5 that's why initially it will show 5 and uh, then it is nothing but less than equal to 5 and then it will reduce the value by 1 so here we are reducing value actually this statement i am putting it here or
just I am doing minor changes now it's perfect so after showing the value actually it is reducing by 1 so now you observe here 5 4 suppose here I write 1 then you observe the change 5 4 3 2 1 0 last one you see because we set the value 5 so it will start with the 5 so 5 less than 1 so it will be wait for few seconds and it will show the value okay and then it reduce also by 1 then so that here next value will be 4 then next value will be 3 2 1 0 so in this way it will be repeated and here at the end I want to generate the sound so in the sound category I am going uh, you can use uh, here start sound ok so now the timer will be generated you just observe 5 4 3 2 1 time so then voice is created and uh, suppose you want that timer should start from 100 onwards ok or suppose we give the ideal time 60 generally we give 1 minute for any task so here it will be taking near about 1 minute so you see so it is just it will reach once it will reach to 0 then the meow will create the voice so in short I just repeat the code when you click on the flag the initial time here is a 60 so it will start with 60 onward and here we return condition less than 1 so means it will reach up to 0 and during this process it will wait for 1 second means from 60 to 59 when it will reach it will take 1 second you can put more timing if you want then it will show the value of the variable and every time we are reducing by 1 and at the end the meow will uh, produce the sound so that is the process and uh, I hope you understood uh, the timer concept now I just tell you about the variable the variable which store the value and you observe this are the values of the variable and it is continuously changing so that is what the variable so whenever we create the variable we just create the variable from here and then we set we can show the value of variable and we can change it also so you see once it is zero then process will stop so in this way you can create the timer and you can make the use of variable so i hope dear student you understood this tutorial thanks for watching thank you